Greetings and welcome back to our Batania playthrough. It has been a while and uh, I must say I've missed playing Bannerlord, especially Eric Haggard here and continuing the series, but I've been struggling to, uh, as you probably know if you watched any of the previous episodes, struggling with some RGB issues with the recording. And I thought it was my my uh, video editor's issue, but it, it's not. It was the recorder. So I've made some changes, done some things differently, got some different things to record with, and done some testing. And um, and the quality should be much, much better now as well. So with that out of the way, thank you so much for tuning in, checking things out here. And we're going to... Um, we're going to have a bit of fun today, I think. I think we're going to have lots of good things happening. And uh, Eric here, you know, he's in Omor. He owns Omor. And this is his his keep. Lord's Hall within the keep, I should say. It looks really cool. It looks like a, a longhouse, kind of a barbarian longhouse a little bit. Um, but it's, it's very, very uh, high-tech. Right? It's not a it's obviously not a Viking longhouse, but it has that same sort of vibe, you know, same sort of vibe. Anyway, so here we are. And what we want to do is, you know, we just kind of want to run around and see what we can get, our, get ourselves into. So since it's been a while, I'm going to check things out here. We also own Gursa Ghost Castle still. And it looks like we're still at war with uh, with these guys. Like Rote is under siege. This is the Western Empire. We're going to head down this way. See what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. We've got a little bit of money. We have sort of a cushion. We can run around and, and kind of do whatever we want to do for the time being. And there was an update. Uh, I think it was this morning came through on the beta branch. So we're in 1.4.1, I think, maybe? 1.4.0? I don't know. It's 1.4 something. And I did look at kind of what that was doing, but honestly... Oh, look at that. It actually has a little icon up here showing you this town is under siege. Now, that is that is very nice. And you can kind of see the stuff here. We're going to go check things out, see if maybe we want to join in, and or if we want to move on and try to do something else. Actually, Rote is, is taken. Let's go check it out. And let's see. Everybody kind of wants Olek to have it, and I am okay with that. So I'm going to go ahead and spend, let's see, relation negative 12. So, yeah. Uh... I mean, I'm on the list. I'm on the list. But I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... Oh, Caladog took it. <laughs> okay. Okay, then, Caladog. You do you, bro. Let's check out this one. Check out the Lord's Hall. Look at that. Now, this is nice. Is this this is an empire castle for sure. Hopefully you, you can see this is not too dark. Which I think it should be much better now that I have changed this. Now for some reason you still can't sit in these in these chairs here, which is very saddening indeed, but lots of guards here already. Look at that. Oh, look at all these dudes. Here's the lords that are hanging out here. They're just kind of hanging out on the outside. Cool. Oh, one of the things that did come with the uh, with the update is you can no longer give lords like one dinar and gain charm skill, which I think is good. That was sort of an exploit, and it wasn't very healthy for the game, to be honest. Uh, so let's see what they have here. Anything good? We have a lot of stuff we can sell, so let's go ahead and do that. And... We have lots of stuff we can sell, actually. We don't have very many uh, horses. They're pretty expensive here, so we're not going to worry about it. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, we really don't want this flax. We have lots of grain. We've got uh, 12 days until we don't have any food. This place has no food at all anyway, so there you go. Let's run around here. Uh, perhaps Jalmaris would be a good, a good place to go. Currently we're maxed out on soldiers. 130 is my limit right now. Jalmaris has 400 people in there. Very nice indeed. Very good garrison there. Uh, so these guys have Midlands Palfreys. Let's go ahead and raid this place here. Uh, are they coming for me? They are not coming for me. Good. <laughs> They're going over here to uh, to that city that just got taken, I think. Man, look at all these. Look, and that's cool. The little icon up here shows you, hey, there's a raid going on right here. That is very cool. I like that a lot. So we got a lot of horses just then. Very, very nice. We got some upgrades here. Hmm. I think the Kuzate Lancer is, is what I want to do more. And we have, I'm keeping these guys kind of around, not the looters. We'll go ahead and uh, get rid of those guys soon, but keeping most of my prisoners around mainly in case we lose anybody in a fight, we can instantly uh, re up the army to 130 right away. Oh, we have some more. Well, Sturgeons have declared war again. Oh, now that's Omor. That's my area. I need to go back home immediately and defend my territory because. <laughs> As you're going to see in this video, it indeed is an isthmus over there. I was correct. You fools, you didn't believe me. <laughs> it is in fact an isthmus, and that is, I'm very proud that I was correct in that. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a sturgeon right there. What's up, bro? How you doing, partner? Gorigos. Um. Yeah, word war, buddy. It's time to surrender or die. So I did a test, and uh, the quality was very, very nice. So hopefully everything goes well in this. You know, looking around and everything, not really choppy, everything looking good. Hopefully that's the case. I did a little test and everything was fine, so... But we're going to hope that uh, that is in fact the case. Now these guys are in a really bad spot. And as soon as my archers get up here, they're just going to start terrorizing these dudes. And I might even send in my two little horse archers to just harass them. <laughs> yeah, this the other guy is just charging as well, so I'll let him take the take the brunt of the damage here. I'll just let the archers kind of handle their business. Actually, it looks like they are running. So we're gonna go pick up some kills. Need a better horse. What I really need to do is work on my athletics. So you know, every time that I get, um, every time that I get off my horse or get knocked off the horse in some way, bad things happen because I can't run. Like, like <laughs> Eric is, uh, he's not a, he's not a speedy boy. He's, uh, he's a very slow molasses boy. Um, he's, he's had too many feasts. Not enough cardio. You know what I'm saying? Not enough cardio. So, you know, it just it's it's just not gonna work. It never works out well, is what I should say. But uh, <laughs> um, wow, is that it? Oh, that's a unique unit. This guy must have been what? Those guys aren't bad. They're not really great, but they're not bad. Let's see. They've got a lot of battalions. Uh. Wow, was he a was he a, a turncoat? I think he was a he was a turncoat man. Um, yeah, we'll take all these guys prisoner, and then you know we'll just recruit from them when it, if we ever lose anybody. 
We have plenty of space for prisoners right now. All right, so yeah, going back to Omor, we definitely need to get over there right away to defend the Sturgeon Isthmus. <laughs> I was right. Like I said, very pleased that I was correct and not uh, not talking out of out of me arse, as they say, right? Wow, look at all these caravans in here, dude! Holy crap! All right, we're just gonna basically get over here and just push back. Um, want to push back against Sturgia and make sure they do not get over here. Oh, nice! Omor is getting a lot of caravans too. The core is being raided. I think we'll we'll have something to say about that. A couple armies got created. We're not too interested in that. Uh, I am in. I am interested in fighting Samir here. But we. <laughs> wow. Um, the Kuzates are. The Kuzates have taken. Oh wow. That's the last city, and it's under siege for Sturgia. They're going to be gone. They don't have anything else. <laughs> the Kuzates have taken them out, dude. I think they got enough on their on their on their plate. You know. <laughs> wow, Kuzates must be uh, must be having a grand old time out here. You know. But we'll we'll fight Samir anyway. All right, so we're still only a mercenary of Batania. I do want to, um, at some point, join as a vassal, and then even after that, um create my own kingdom and start, uh, you know, sort of like a, a secondary Batanian kingdom, you know? I think that would be fine. All right, so they're, <laughs> they're just gonna, they're gonna run into trouble. Move! Over there. Let's get our archers they're set up moving. up here. Give each other a move out! Make a shield wall! I'm not just too concerned about their their horsemen over there. You know, as they go, they're just gonna get kinda cut down. Oh actually, <laughs> they just took out a melee guy. Alright, there they go. Bring our guys up here. There they are. Oh, hello. It's time to go. Look at the Fion champ. He's just tearing him up, dude. <laughs> Attacking. I was trying to swing, bro. I just got cut down. That's all that was. <laughs> but this one's pretty much over. I mean, they're just running around. They don't have much of a chance. Aren't they just charging? We have we have the overwhelming odds here. Alright, we we'll just speed it up until they're done. Looks like the they're just gonna let the cavalry oh now they're going. <laughs> there we go. We lost three people actually, but again, that's why I'm uh taking around all these prisoners because eh. You know. 
Do they have any warrior sons? Uh, no. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I'm hoping that they can uh, can hang on to this because I don't want the the who's eight to just you know to just take over. But it looks like that's what's happening in this side of the world. Yeah, there they go. They just took over. And these guys, you know, Dorian of the Hand, right? You're a mercenary. You should just jump ship, bro. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at this. They all just turned on me, yo. Uh, I mean, yeah, join us, bro. Oh, my, my charm is horrific. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let's see, 74%. Okay, there's a success. Another, I need a, I need a critical success here. I have to try this one. Oh, I did it! <laughs> oh, you want money, bro? You want money? A one dinar? One one dinar will do it. Okay. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna sleep now. Yes, yeah, so we got that one guy. All right, guys. So after that little uh, issue there where I went into a never-ending loop, uh, I kind of caught back up. Sturgey has declared war once again. I did raid one of the uh, the horse villages right before that happened, and we found Samir once again. So we're going to fight Samir. And, um, I mean, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Matter of fact, it, I, I am, I, I misspoke earlier. I am a vassal of Batania. I'm not just a mercenary. We did that, I think, in the very last episode where we, uh, we joined up with Batania officially. And that's why I have a, a town and a castle. I don't know why that I brain farted that, but I did. And here we go. So we're going to go after Samir here. I'm loving, absolutely loving the the little icons above these the the villages and the cities. Man, that is so so good. I, I'm I'm really really digging that, man. Like super super good. All right, we're gonna play a little bit of distraction here. You know, a lot of throwing weapons and spears as well, so you gotta kind of be careful. The guy has a giant two-handed sword. All right, get in here. Dude with a spear, no thank you. Right, they're not running yet. They're not running yet. And I can't hit anybody, apparently. I hit, hit that guy. This wasn't enough to uh, take him out. Runs. We'll send in the uh, the archers. Let them chase along with everybody else. Oh, too soon. I think this guy is a Batanian uh, turncoat, like I said before. 
He seems to have a lot of Batanian people. So that's his problem, not mine. All right, so I think we lost six people, maybe five, five people. So well, actually, uh, we'll get a couple Sea Raider Chiefs. There's two. And um, hmm, three, four, and five. That looks fine with me. We'll take the rest of these guys prisoner. And there we go. Okay, so let's go. Um, let's go defend Omor and the Isthmus, shall we? <laughs> and I wonder if the Kuzates are okay. The Kuzates haven't taken Takor Castle in this version of reality yet, but I think probably they're they're about to. I'm gonna run around over here. Across the Isthmus, okay, over into Sturgeon territory. Oh my, that's, that's a lot of people. I think that's that group of people I. I think that's that group of people I ran into earlier. <laughs> I convinced one of them to join us, and then we went into the infinite loop. So, I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick, and try to do the same thing again with this guy. So I think they would take me out. They would probably win. Uh, Roman, Berger, and Nudeland. <laughs> Is that really his name? Oh, Nuldan. I thought his, his name was Noodle or something. All right, let's see here. Ineffective, no. Uh, let's see, 74%. Let me, uh, Mute my phone here. Oh, that worked. Okay, good, good. Another 74. Okay, we need a critical success on this last roll. We have to get in. We don't have a chance to do it, so it doesn't matter. It didn't even give us an option. So, all right. Now I guess we fight. <laughs> all right. We're going to hold the high ground here. Actually, I'm gonna hold the high ground, let them come to us. They have us outnumbered, so they should want to advance on us. And that's when we'll have them. That's when they will be ours. Oh, yes. Yeah, they are definitely advancing very quickly, in fact. Wait, who's this guy? Who are you? Going over there with the cavalry. Oh, it's my wife. Really? Is she really considered cavalry still? I've changed her like five times, man. I've changed her five times, dude. Wasting everybody's arrows. Get out of here. I think they backed off, actually. I'm gonna move everybody up. Yeah, they, they backed up for sure. Okay. They're now advancing again, so we're going to sit right up in here and let them come. Look at the death. Look at the death. Ah. 
Okay, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh, he ducked. He ducked it. I think we got this one in the bag. Looking good so far, but we'll have everybody just charge out. Oh, hello. Ooh, nice. I think I can use this as a two-handed sword now, which was not the case in the last uh, the last beta patch. Actually, I would prefer this one. War champion, huh? Well, here's where some more of the fighting is going on. These guys have not ran yet. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't stand up fast enough. Mm. <laughs> but it's basically over. I mean, they're getting run down. There's one guy left, looks like. And he's gone. We lost seven, though. We lost seven. But they lost 87. So, yeah, you're my prisoner, buddy. All of you are my prisoner. Thank you very much. And I didn't try to, con well, I did try to convince the one guy, but um, I wasn't going to push it. You know what I mean? Okay. Titanian Scout or Picked Warrior? Hmm. Both sworn. Like they have the same skills, except one's on horseback, and I think that would be better. Be on horseback. Ooh, we got another Titanian Hero. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to change wifey here to Archer. I, I swear to God I did all this stuff already. All right, yeah, your, ca your infantry, Nathun, you are cavalry. Hercoon, you are a horse archer. Belaya, you are cavalry. Ifron, you are infantry. Yes. Now that is correct. <laughs> uh, we have two war camels. Holy smokes. Hell yeah. That's what I like to see, buddy. War camels. Hell yeah, dude. And it's actually better than what I <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a war camel because you know what? It's better than what I'm using. <laughs> Uh, why threw in? I know she has no saddle. There's no horse. Get over it. Uh, wait, he has a saddle. What? He cannot use a war camel. <laughs> okay. He can use a war camel. There you go, buddy. There you go, Urkun. <laughs> Oh, do we not have a saddle for these? Oh. Hmm. Eight. Eleven. Oh, I'm over. Oh, okay. I'm over by four now. Ah. Uh, learn to count, man. Learn to count, right? <laughs> now we get rid of that guy. Get rid of... Those two, I think I'm only I'm one more. Yeah, I'm one more one more over. Okay. That should do it, right? Yep. There we go. Okay. So take this guy out. Oh my god. 
what what is going on here they're all coming here right now dude they're they're coming over the isthmus cause trouble that's ragging badge right there too hmm I think I'm gonna go to Omor hang out let my people kind of heal up a little bit Let's see. Let's manage the town. See how we're doing here. I actually don't have anything going. Uh, let's give them another 10k and let's keep building the walls. Let's. Oh, we need a granary. We need workshop. Um, fairgrounds, I guess. Yeah, I thought we had stuff going on here. Apparently not. There we go. Oh, wanted to wait. All right, wait here for some time. Loric the Wheeler for price for all materials. Now we just want to get some of our people healed up. back over the isthmus and uh, and cause some trouble I think nothing down this way but he's definitely gonna trap himself now nope oh he, he pulled the old <laughs> he gave me the old okie doke Whoop, gone okay I'm never gonna catch this dude <laughs> Atis of the Jowl is he the leader leader guy Come on, buddy. Talk to me. Uh, let's see. Bidal is... Is his leader, okay. So Bidal is the guy we do want to talk to. I think that's the guy we talked to before that, that got us caught in the infinite loop of conversation with him. <laughs> uh, man. Does this guy... Does this guy know anything about tactics or what? Doesn't appear so. Cavalry! Move! Stand apart! Footman, here! Get moving! Shields forward! Empress! Footman! On my flank! Oh, hello. <clears throat> How are you guys doing? Ah, oh, he hit somebody and stopped. These guys have so maybe I can get a maybe I can get a camel harness off these guys. You know, maybe. Maybe I can. Hey, buddy, you're you're in no man's land now. Are they are they not able to kill this guy? I guess not. All right, come on, guys. Move up here. Yeah, maybe we'll get a we'll get a, a harness off these dudes for the camels, man. That'd be sweet. They got some camel troops, man. So I am hopeful. I am hopeful. Oh. I'm so terrible. As soon as I'm off the horse, it's over with. Jeez. Alright, let's speed things up here. Because this is basically over already. Yep. There you go. Lost five again. That's okay. Well, that's 41. Uh, just as a reminder, we are playing on the hardest difficulty possible for combat. And, uh, and that's no lie, man. So we lost five. Let's see. Anybody? Uh, a couple of good guys. A couple of good Sturgeons in there. Hmm. And 
these guys are pretty good. But they, they probably won't ever join us. Oh, they had some good units, huh? This guy might join. Hmm. Lame more camel. All right, we're not going to take that one. We'll take everything else. Ooh. Well, that's better. If I don't have a harness, that's absolutely better. Did we get a camel harness? <laughs> we did! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, actually, we got a much better horse barding as well. Ah, do I keep the horse? All right, compared to the camel, how is this new horse we have? Horse is better, we're keeping the horse, but <laughs> I'm tempted now that I have this guy to give like Nathun. Oh, he can't, he can't use it. It's this guy. <laughs> give him the war camel and then give him the uh, whichever one's better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so good. So good. Okay. Let's see, this is probably not better than mine, no? Almost. Almost better. Okay. Uh, I won't have any good armor. Actually, decent. Decent. Hmm. Ooh, step arrows. Yeah. Uh, we're definitely going to give you those. And Nathun. It's the same, okay. All right, so. How about, oh yeah. That's what I want to look at right there. That's much better for him. Belaya, bro. What are you good at, dude? I can't remember. <laughs> but he does need a shield. So we're going to give him the best shield we've got. This one right here looks like. Give you that. Let's give you some javelins, maybe. I don't know. I, I can't remember what his thing is good at. What, what, what his thing. What he is good at. This is a couch lance. Give that to him as well. This is a couch lance as well. All right, Nathun. You can have a couch lance. There you go, buddy. You just decide on your own whatever you want to use, right? That'll be fine. I'm curious, though. What this guy's good at? I can't remember at all. It's been way too long. Wait, do we have anything cool? Ah, one-handed, yeah. Um, okay. Oh, they did tweak some of the uh, some of the perks as well. So that's I just noticed this one. Both of these are different. And that's different as well. Very nice. Very nice. We'll have to check those out in depth here after a bit, but uh, not right now. Ooh. Uh, it looks like they took all the perks away if they already had, you know. If they had them and they changed some of the perks, they just gave you a reset. Looks good. 2% uh, swing speed. This guy is not mounted, so hmm. the points increased by two. It's not bad, I guess. Not bad. Okay. I think, yeah, Nathun is mounted.
increase party limit by 15. It might be good. I think Nathun is going to be one of my people. Since he's so good at combat, he's going to be one of my guys. He has no tactics, though. This roguery is off the charts. Um, oh, recruitment costs down by 30%. Huh. But anyway, I think he might be one of my candidates to... Um, to lead a lead a party. Okay. Uh yeah, he's mostly an archer, so I don't think he even has a shield. He's not mounted, so whatever. All right, uh, ooh, Belaya, the Golden. Now he would be perfect. He's got a really high tactics leader, uh, tactics level, so he will be very, very good to lead, lead an army for me. He has a shield, right? I think he does. Hmm. I think that one right there, Stand United. That's a good one. I like that one. All right, that should be everything. Cool. All right, that took a little bit of time. Sorry about that, but that's all right. All right, Bow Guard. Hmm. Don't have enough to ward off the Kuzates, my man. Save real quick. We'll try to talk to this guy. See if he'll join our side. You guys all want to fight? Okay. Should I should I try to persuade this guy? Uh so he's not even the leader. Okay, so we'll just have to fight. <laughs> Whatever, man. Let's go. All right, we're going to sit up like right over here, I think. Cavalry coming in, literally. <laughs> oh. Whoa, hello. I just got one shot by somebody. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. All right, they're already running, so that's a good, good sign. Are just are just really too good to be honest, really. If they would, all right, they're getting swarmed by cavalry, so that's making them not be very effective at all. Oh, hello. Decide not to keep attacking that guy. That's okay. All right, we're gonna speed things along here. Where's the fighting happening? Over here? Nah, there's probably just one of the lords left. And he escaped. Okay, we lost seven. Oh no, we lost. Yeah, we lost seven. All right, uh, all of you are my prisoner now, so prepare your anus for dungeon time. <laughs> Hmm. 
go back to Omor and drop these guys off because we have a lot of them. We have a lot of them. Oh, Warrior Sun leveled up to a very ag. All right. A lot of level ups here. That's a great. Yukon. I need to talk to that guy for sure. Let's go to the keep, go to the dungeon. And his prisoners. We're going to put uh, Samir. All these guys over there, actually. There you go. And matter of fact, everybody else will just, uh, how's our garrison looking? 92. It'd be better. It'd be better. Let's just get rid of everybody else. And go back to the town center. We'll trade. And get rid of all of our stuff. Old Sumter Horse. Uh, we're getting rid of that guy. Keep our camels, of course. Jeez. <laughs> if anybody else needs a better shield. No, not really. Good. Well, let's let's look at uh, Ifrain. Simple javelin, sixty piercing, seventy invalid, still invalid. <laughs> okay, so we'll just leave it like that. Um, we want to keep all of our food. Oh, we have a lot of wow, that sells pretty good here. Oh, better helmet. Good, good. In fact, better, better uh, cloak. Hmm. That'll be it, though. Any better armor, though? Hmm. Perhaps. Ah. Maybe not for him, but maybe for somebody else, right? Yeah, definitely for him. And Belaya. Very good. And there you go. See about these guys. 18. Mine better? No. I'll probably speed this part up because <clears throat> this is pretty boring. You know, sorry. <laughs> sorry, man. Okay, they can't afford everything. We're going to have to take some stuff back. Um, don't really need food, so I was going to say maybe we can offset it with buying some food, but I uh, don't really need to. So we'll go down here and we'll just take stuff back. So we see numbers up there in the top left again. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. 111. There we go. Perfect. All right, I need to talk to Lucon here. Hello, sir. You have a giant army. All right, Battle of Pendrake. Perfect. See how many we have now. This should be getting close to 10. Should be getting close. Yeah, 9 of 10. So we're one person away and we can start our own thing. Are you kidding me right now <laughs> are you kidding me and i'm not going through all that madness dude come on now if i go back they're not they're not set they're not set again well isn't that nice okay so they changed the perks and then they broke the perks that's okay they'll get they'll get around to fixing it i'm sure all right, guys, so I think that's going to wrap things up for now. Thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, be sure to have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, 
and good night wherever you happen to be in the world. And we will see you next time.